Rain's starting to come down a little harder. It's been on and off in the morning while I've been making breakfast, coffee, oh, coffee. Um, and uh, just having a hard time getting going. That coffee hit me though. I'm starting to feel a lot better. Anyway, I'm rambling. Uh, I'm gonna head. I'm gonna start packing up. Shortcut. Open. I really don't want a portage, but it means a shorter day. I'm all for it. The only way I was going to portage is if I found a trail that wasn't covered in alders and crap and deadfall and whatever. Looks like this one is actually pretty good. So I could save a lot of time, do a little bit of portaging. And uh, there's this one and then there's a little lake and then there's the next one and then I'll be on reindeer and I should be able to save, I'm assuming a couple hours. Well, as far as portages go, other than a few wet sections, that was a 10 out of 10. At least for portages on this trip. I hope there's a portage at the end of this this uh, lake. Crossing my fingers on that one. I couldn't see anything from the satellite imagery. So we'll find out. I wonder if I can just line right down it. It doesn't look like anything all that crazy. Lots of alders down there, I bet. Well, looks like I can just do like a 40 meter drag. Oh, what is this? Oh, Portage slash creek. Almost there. Woo -hoo. Yeah, that's a big lake. So I've been paddling for about a, about a half an hour. I just kind of came around to this tip of this point and just kind of taking a little break. Got to set up my solar panel um, and just chill out for a little bit and just kind of figure out exactly where I'm going to be going. I've never paddled the water this big before, so that's a new challenge for me. We'll see what happens. I just hope the weather stays this good. Uh, it's pretty smoky outside. It's, uh, it is like it's like hanging around with my friend Scotty. Uh, just smoke everywhere.
will it be? Well, I almost guarantee it's a slew shark. Oh yeah. Oh. oh. Sweet release. You wouldn't believe it, but I'm at another portage. This is kind of a cut across of a peninsula. And uh, just to kind of save a little bit of time, instead of going all the way around, I can kind of cut across at it where it bottlenecks. Well, I was gonna drag my canoe with everything in it, but uh, that looks a little steep for me to do that. So I'm just gonna do a double carry, or maybe a carry and drag. Carry and drag sounds good. So did the portage, it's pretty solid, can't complain. And it is dead beautiful calm outside. Oh, there's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven lands. It's like the cow came in to check me out. It's like one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine. ton of bricks. Now it's not doing anything. That's kind of like lake choke do. But I don't think, no, it's not lake choke. <laughs> How did I catch you that you just... Oh no, you're frisky. Hey buddy, you're not ready to be picked up, are you? No, you're not. Oh, <laughs> all right. Not bad, look, chunky. In 3D. Oh, you're sliming up my boat! You're sliming up my boat! <laughs> sliming up my boat. Oh my god! Oh, get out! Well, I wanted to make it to the fishing resort, but I just couldn't quite get there. The wind kind of changed a little bit. Well, it just got stronger, that's how it changed. And uh, it was just no go. So I got a decent island that I'm capping on. Like it's it's solid. I won't say it's A++, but it's it's a solid B+. Um, I can totally make it work. And uh, I'm looking forward to supper, chilling out. And, uh, well, I've watched the sunset, but the sunset's on the other side of the island, but... So, I'll probably just dream about beer and KFC. And, uh, that's about it. Anyway, I better get set up. Making some uh, chicken cashew stir fry. That's chicken right there. That's some veggies, that's rice. And I'm just frying up some, or stir frying. Uh, some onions, garlic, and ginger. Oh, 
Don't forget the chili flakes. Oh yeah, baby. Flavor country. Well, I got the fire dose. I just gotta do some packing and I'm on, I'm setting sails. It's about uh, 7, 745? Just a second, 745. And it looks like it's gonna be a hot one. Look at that out there. God damn, God damn. It's gonna be hot. So I got some stuff recharging there, trying my best, get some batteries for this camera. And uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a push, final push for home. I should be on the water by at least uh, 8.30. <laughs> so one thing I gotta say about the boreal, there are a lot of ants. I just uh, was setting up my camera just to, just to set it up, just to take some shots. And uh, I stepped in big nest of carpenter ants they weren't happy with me that's for sure oh they're still trying to get at me little bastards Good enough, I guess. Hopefully I'll be in my truck tonight. Wow, it's as hot as f out here. Whew, it's like 8.30, I'm already sweating. come around the island I was camping on and this is what I see doesn't look like it's gonna be a hot one after all I'm assuming it's coming this way Reindeer Lake Impact Crater. It is pretty freaking big.
As per usual, when I find a nice spot, I like to stop and enjoy some skittles. Oh yeah. Well, I saw my first people today, about a half an hour ago. It's the first time I think I've seen somebody in about 12 days. Uh, I got as crow applies about 17, 16 more kilometers to go to Reindeer Lake. I'm gonna kind of slog on through, see if I can make it a little farther. Um, all I can do is try. Alright, right back where I started. Trip is done.